Hello and welcome to Green Shift Business Lines video series on clean tech. I am M Ramesh. Now, the energy sector is the biggest emitter of carbon dioxide. It is not easy to decarbonize the energy sector. To make matters worse, in the case of India, coal is our energy mainstay. It is the biggest source of energy for India. We have to use coal, but we can't also use coal because it emits carbon dioxide in large quantities. So what do we do? How do we decarbonize our energy sector? Please do watch this video. India has 360 billion tons of coal estimated of which proven reserves are about 187-188 billion tons of coal. Now we currently consume about a billion tons which means it can comfortably last us for about a century or a century and a half easily. But then we cannot use coal because coal is a dirty fuel. It emits large quantities of carbon dioxide. It is the worst emitter of greenhouse gases among all fossil fuels. But we also have to provide energy to all our people and our growing economy. So what is the way out? Is there an alternative? Wind and solar can you know, also come in handy, but they cannot really replace coal because wind and solar are intermittent, they are not available all the time and so on and so forth. We have to find another fuel to replace coal and looks like there is one. I am talking of thorium. India has about a little over a million tons of thorium, enough to last us for several centuries. Now I know what you are going to say. You are going to say, oh my god, this is old hat. We have always known that thorium can be used as a nuclear fuel. But then that's not easy, there are so many problems. Yes, that is true. It's because thorium has to be paired with another fissile material like uranium-235 or plutonium-239 and only then can that thorium be converted into another fissile material, uranium-233, which can be used in another nuclear reactor and to generate heat and then electricity. Yes, that has been the problem. That is why we could not use thorium all these years. You know, in order to use thorium, you need to first build up sizable stocks of uranium-235, which is naturally available, although in small quantities, and or plutonium-239, which gets produced in the conventional nuclear reactors. To cut the long story short, you need at least sufficient stocks of uranium-235 and or plutonium-239 to be able to use thorium because we have to pair thorium with uranium and then do it. Until such time as we have enough stocks, you can't use thorium. That has been the situation until now. Now, there is a company in the USA. It is called Clean Core Thorium Energy. It was set up by an Indian businessman, a Gujarati gentleman by the name Mehul Shah. Now, this company has come up with a new type of nuclear fuel. It is again a mix of uranium and thorium. But in this particular type of nuclear fuel, there is very little uranium and more of thorium. What that mix is, is proprietary, it has patented. Clean core thorium energy will not tell us what exactly that formula is. That is their secret. But the point is, it economizes on the need for uranium-235 or plutonium-239 for us to use thorium. By the way, they call this fuel anil, A-N-E-E-L. Anil stands for Advanced Nuclear Energy for Enriched Life. The beauty of this anil, as Mehul Shah explains, is that it lasts very long. First of all, it needs very little uranium-235 and then it burns up, it has high burn up, which means if you put it into rods and put it into a nuclear reactor, it will be there generating heat for a very long time, much, much longer time. To give you an idea, the conventional fuel burns up about 7000 megawatt hours. Anil, the company claims, has a burn up of 60,000 megawatt hours, something like eight times the conventional fuels. And the nuclear waste it generates can be is 
of very small quantity and can be easily handled. And furthermore, there is no concern of this being diverted to weapon use because you are using thorium here. There are technical reasons for that. If you use this fuel, the world is not going to be apprehensive about any diversion for weapon use. Let us ask Mehul Shah himself about this fuel. Anil fuel is a patented combination of thorium oxide and HALU, high SA low and rich uranium. It will leverage superior physical and neutronics properties of thorium, which burns for a much longer period in a reactor while delivering several significant benefits in terms of proliferation resistance, improved safety, and reduction in waste produced in the fuel cycle of PHWRs. Thank you very much. I request you to explain to our viewers how this fuel anil is going to help India use its thorium reserves right away. We do have two paths to leverage use of thorium in India. One would be following India's domestic three-stage program. Natural uranium fuel PSWRs in the first stage, fast breeder reactor using plutonium-based fuel in second stage and advanced nuclear power system using thorium in the third stage, which is a longer path. A shorter path would be using thorium halo based anil fuel in existing PHWR, which would accelerate use of thorium in India in the shortest period of time. Thank you. Mehul, please tell us how market ready your fuel is. Anil fuel is market ready in a very short term. We anticipate to commercialize anil fuel in 2026. Thank you very much, Mehul. Wish you all the best. There you are. By the looks of it, we have a new type of nuclear fuel of concoction that clean core thorium energy can license to an Indian company like Nuclear Power Corporation. And this fuel will enable India to start using its abundant thorium reserves right away, almost immediately. But then when we say right away, in this context just does not mean day after tomorrow, I see the use of thorium being at least about 10 years away. But then, in the life of a country, a decade is but a wink in time. Thank you.